the NIL deals with Yay. college football. And I and, and we had a caller that loves to attack everything that I say and and <laughs> being and being myself and being that I'm the loudmouth. I am. I'm not going to sit back and I'm not going to stop arguing about it. I love the fact that players are making money. As a matter of fact, Speedy could tell you I've been fighting for this for years, yeah. but it's been around for four years and. Now these players are making millions and millions of dollars. And to me, this is going to hurt college football because if there is no rules, if there is no law, an understanding on how much these players could bring in and how much these players can make, if these players are making tens of millions of dollars, they're going to sit there and say, you know what? I already have my contract. I all I got to do is play one year. I got to wait two more years. I can sit out and play whatever games I want, and then I can go into the NFL draft, get drafted, and make more millions of dollars. And that I think, and, and Jeff says they can't do that. Yes, they can. They can regulate whatever they want. They're a business, and they can make rules and they can make laws. Am I right or wrong here? So, okay, my perspective is going to be a little different because mm-hmm. yes, when you're saying oh millions and millions. But the percentage of athletes that are making that is like this. Yes. Mm-hmm. So hypothetically, these athletes can sit there and think that, okay, this is going to be the strategy. But if you're not playing, how are you going to get game tape? How are you going to stay in shape? How are you going to – like, it's competitive. Come right. on. Like, you can't – I mean, maybe a couple could do it here and there. I don't think that that's going to become a very common strategy because it has to be that superstar. And those superstars – are rare, Mm -hmm. you know, the ones that can transition from college to NFL and you have to gain experience. You're not a pro. I'm sorry. You're in college. Mm -hmm. A pro has years and years and years of experience under their belt. And part of that, it's not, and and a lot of it's mental, right? Like it's, it's mental, it's experience. It's you are perfecting your skill set, right? You're polishing your game. And the only way to do that is to play. And if you're not going to play in college, you're going to be super raw. Now, you could argue that point if you're talking about NBA. Mm-hmm. You could argue that point depending on the sport. So, I, But I just personally, I think it might happen. But I think, again, most of these NIL deals, yeah, you have your top five percenters, but that's, that's, that is the same it is in professional sports, mm-hmm. right? People think, oh, these athletes make all these endorsements. No, they don't. It's really hard to make money off the field unless you're an Odell Beckham or, uh, you know, Tom Brady, whatever. It's difficult. I live it day in and day out. Right. I have superstars. And you got to put in a lot of time and energy. And a lot of it's luck of the draw. Mm-hmm. But if you're that top 1% to 5%, yeah, people knock on your door. But if you're not, the rest of the pool, you got to hustle. And that I, the same co- applies to college and collegiate sports. And the most of those NIL deals are not make or break deals. But here's, here's the thing, and, and I, I agree with everything that you just said, but what throws me off here is you have a national championship game, okay? Yeah. And you have these two quarterbacks. They're both going – let's say they're going – he's going one and the other one's going three, okay? And they both know they're going to be top picks, and they say, you know what? I'm making my millions of dollars. I don't have to play in this game. No, you're you're right, and you really propose a really interesting like point, you know, is – yeah, what's going to be what's driving these guys to play in that game, you know? Nothing. And, Nothing. Money. They don't lose out. No. I mean, maybe a little, but like, yeah. Do you think they give a crap? What? And I'm just being serious. And I, I know that it's all about camaraderie and, hey, listen, my, my. They're about their families. They're, this is when they, these, these kids are playing all the way, you know, a peewee. And they're 11 years old and they're trying to be Tom Brady or they're trying to be the next Peyton Manning or they're trying to be the next Deion Sanders. Sauce Garner being one of them. They want to get into the NFL as soon as possible and they want to make sure they're not hurt so they can get that $100 million deal. That's what they're looking to do. If I had the opportunity to make that kind of money and generational money and I'm still bringing in millions and millions of dollars and this national championship game means absolutely nothing to me just for the school and the school's making hundreds of, well, I'm, not, I'm not saying hundreds, but millions and millions of dollars of me playing in that game, I'm telling the school to go F themselves. I don't need it. I don't need it. I'm all about me. I care about me and what I'm getting at the end of, at the, end of the rainbow, okay? That's yeah. all I'm saying. That's that's a fair point. I'm not going to argue that one at all. <laughs> It'll be interesting to see like how how it plays out and how often this starts to happen.